bullshit blazing Still my heart is blazing If the words kill me I don't need a new world under you Soon you will know We already know the smell of the game Oh my god That's such a good teaser Else, Taiski's music also gets me <laughs> so riled up Ah, uh, I wish I went to Evo just so I could have been there for the uh, reveal. I would have been losing my shit. <laughs> I would have been losing my shit. Oh, God. The game, like, can I just say, first and foremost, they absolutely were hiding, like, the latest uh, techniques for their uh, customized little anime engine they got going on. Because this game looks even better than Grand Blue, which isn't even out yet. So they, they went above and beyond. Uh, just before we can get into breaking down the trailer, just like the supers, I've been saying they should do this for so long, but they sh they added Sakuga to the to the supers, much like an anime when stuff gets really hyped, something amazing's happening, animation really smooths out, really important episode, you get the good animators in, supers, great moment, look how smooth this is, smooth as butter, looks great, limited frames of animation is super important. Uh, not just for visual, to get the visual anime aesthetic, but also as a 2D fighter, limited frames of animation is really important. That's another video topic, though. But let's, uh, let's break this shit down. There's not a lot in here. It's not, <laughs> it's not a very long trailer. But, uh, I mean, let's just, uh, let's break it down. Let's see what we got in here. I think, uh, all right, dash is confirmed. <laughs> In case anyone was wondering, dashes are in the game. Be a really weird game if it didn't have dashing. Uh, and then we got... I'm going to operate under the assumption that auto combos do not exist in this game. It's a fear of mine that they exist, but I don't want them to exist. If nothing else, I don't want moves locked behind an auto combo. Which means I also want the button layout to be the same. Punch, kick, slash, heavy slash, dust. Very important. But uh, we're going to operate under those not existing. So I'm going to assume this... I mean, this looks like a 5P, especially based off the hit stun. That's 5P. And then he goes into 6P. He's using the wrong arm, though. He's using the wrong arm. Pretty sure he uses the right hand for the 6P, but that definitely looks like 6P. He's got his head down. He's punching into the gut, although in this case, poor Kai's not having, not having another kid, because <laughs> that's gone. It's not knocking him back though, but we can assume that everything, every move is going to function quite a bit differently in this game. But that's, uh, that's another discussion. This is definitely, this definitely looks like a heavy slash based on the hit stun, and he's using his weapon, so. This is a short clip. I'm curious why they chose this particular clip, just to show like these three moves. It's kind of weird. Kai looking, looking pretty as fuck. I actually prefer him with the short hair, I think. I like the way he looks in this. He looks a little... The characters look a little bit more like their 90s counterparts. Uh, which I prefer. Alright, Kai. I mean, this is 2H. A little... A little more posy than uh, I remember. <laughs> he's looking very fabulous as he does this. Like, he just does not give a shit. This is Kai Unleashed. You know? God, just look at this animation. Like, he's getting hit by an upwards attack and it's lifting him off the ground. It just looks really nice. And Guilty Gear's always been full of these nice little details. Like, I guarantee you, there are tons of people who played XR probably even longer than I have and never even noticed that if, like, you block attacks for long periods of time, the animation changes. Like, your character starts to get strange. Slayer goes from not trying at all to actually trying to block your attacks. It's very, very good. And then Kai goes into this. The fact that Kai is step if we're operating by Gatling rules, this can either only be a dust after 2H, or it can be his 6K. Although he couldn't He couldn't do 6K out of 2H, but again, there's gonna be a lot of different rules going on. And his 6K, if this is what we think it is, the fact he steps forward makes me think it's 6K. So I'm I'm assuming that's 6K. It looks like it operates quite a bit differently. It looks like it knocks down, or in this case knocks back. I assume is why it shatters the wall here, which is, it could also be dust. It doesn't look like a dust, but dust would be more likely to knock you back. But we're going to assume this is 6K. And then you have the wall shatter. And boy, 
in the trailer, this scene, this scene gets me. I don't know if it's a combination of the song going on or what, but this scene's great. Like, look how fucking smooth this is. Oh, my video player is bad now. And what I love most about this is, like, look at Kai. Like, he just recovers immediately and goes into what looks like... I mean, this basically is just Greed Sever. <laughs> it's this Moonsault, uh... Hazanshu bullshit that he's got going on. But it looks and functions like Greed Sever, even to the point that it, uh... Can get low profile. <laughs> but let's talk about the stage transition. This is interesting because Guilty Gear is a very corner focused game. Very, very corner focused. And to suddenly be able to break the wall means that the game might be more neutral focused. Like, this puts the game back to neutral. It looks like Souls in Recovery. So, the person who knocked him back clearly has some form of advantage. But not enough that he can, like, get a combo going. It's not like Tekken or something where you get a wall break and you get... Or a floor break or something and you get a full combo afterwards. It looks like this is a reset to neutral. I'm sure there's some sort of damage that Soul takes from hitting the ground, but... Looks like it resets to neutral with advantage. And that's interesting. It'll benefit other characters more than others. And it might give you a reason to not do, like, a knockback move when you have someone in the corner. And if stages are going to have different breakpoints, and there's only two points they could possibly break, but that's going to that's gonna change. Uh, like, stage selection will matter, which will be kind of weird. In a, in a 2D fighter, that's actually really weird. I mean, certain stages in 2D fighters had different lengths, I suppose. So, But anyways, this, this is more impactful than you think it would be. It is going to make the game more neutral focused, possibly. You got Soul doing, uh, that's definitely 2D. Absolutely. 2D, got DP, Soul's yelling, smiling. Then we got, uh, we got Jump K, definitely. That's Jump K for sure. Then we got Jump S. Same deal here. And then just that is a immediate cancel into, looks like Aerial Bandit Bringer, which apparently you can just do on the fly in the air. They could have turned that into his Jump H, if they wanted to be silly, I think, based on the cancel, how he immediately goes into it, I'm going to say this is actually just cancel. He can use, use this move in the air. Oh my god. Video player, please. Now, I'm hoping this camera angle and stuff doesn't exist too much in the game itself, because Guilty Gear's got Roman cancels, massive camera changes are going to be really disorienting like this, so I'm assuming this is just for cinematic flair. Plus, Soul ends up over here. Not really where you'd think he would end up after knocking someone to the ground. He's pretty far away and on the other side, so I'm assuming that's for cinematic flair for the trailer and not how that moves is going to function. Unless this is game is going to be much more neutral focused. Because uh, that is this is basically back to neutral to the point that they both recover at like, the same time. Which, again, leads me to believe this is for cinematic flair. And then you got the supers. Look. Everything, every bit, like you would imagine them to look. Looks like there's no huge cinematic effect on them, at least not these supers. I'm sure there'll be insta-kills that'll have the more cinematic stuff, which I prefer. You just get a startup animation, and then it's all gameplay after that. Nothing that takes you out of it with some weird camera angle bullshit. And that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's it very quick, it's very quick. There's not a lot of answers in here. <laughs> it's, it's very simple things, but... Uh, God, it just looks so gorgeous. I'm very excited. I have my concerns, but that's going to be another video topic, uh, which will be all about what they are going to remove, what will, what I expect to change, and what my hopes are, which I'm going to do in another video. This is this one's pretty much done. God, I want is it is it 2020 yet? I need this in my life. <laughs>